Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, Algorithm Series, Episode 9. We're going to look at Radix Sort. We're using the list, least significant digit version. So in LCD, the 329, the number would be 9, so if like 421, it would be 1. It's the first digit, it's the least significant digit. Basically what this algorithm does is it iterates through each digit, and starting from the least up to the most, every time it takes and compares all of the least values, um, using a counting sort algorithm in this example, and then puts them into a sorted array, and then does it for the next digit, and so on and so forth. Takes O of X in time, where X is the number of digits, and N is the input array. So let's go ahead and take a look here at what I mean by what we got. So for the radix sort here, it's very simple. We just, for every digit, we go ahead and use the counting sort algorithm from before. And let's take a look at some of these um, functions real quick. To find the number of digits in the an array, we're going to basically find the max value. So in an array with 321 and 4,526, that's going to be 4, because 4,526 has 4 digits. Or if it's 1, 2, 3, and 33, it'll be 2, because 33 is 2. Digit just grabs the single digit from each number, and... Then we have the counting sort um, or, um, algorithm. It's been slightly modified from the last time you see, and we'll see in just a second exactly how. Everything should look the same to you until you get to the build histogram. Now this is where we have an interesting change. We grab the digit, and we're building a histogram of the digits, not of the actual values anymore. So because if you have 329 there present, you just want the 9, because you're comparing the first least significant digit <coughs> or subsequent exponents, so we're taking in a new um, uh, thing here for each exponent. So, as we go, we'll go through each of them and build up the histogram of the first values and run the whole counting sort. Then we'll do all the histogram of the second values and do the counting sort, and so on and so forth. Finally, when we get down here and we do this um, portion of setting the value into the array again, we're also grabbing the digits value right here, and we're going to actually place the full value, though, back into the finished array. So when we run through this, we're going to run through and sort through the counting sort algorithm and reset it on the entire array, but based on the least digit first, then the second digit, and so on and so forth. And then finally, if you can see down here, we can see how it, it looks. So we have a few different digits here, 329, 457, you have a few things out of order, and when you run, you can see we have everything in proper order as it goes. So you can play with this. Uh, console log things out, and you can see how some of the intermediary steps are. So, for example, this is the first one sorted on the first uh, least significant digit. And then this is the algorithm after it's been sorted on the second significance digit, so 729, 329, 3355, 5. And the last one, when it's finally sorted on the least significant digit, or excuse me, most significant digit in this case. So that's it for Radix sort, nice and easy. Uh, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe and subscribe to our newsletter as well. Thank you very much. Have a great day.